not until their hunger is sated. For as the flames of the bonfire dimmed, so did the, did the hope of escape. Jenny's warning lingered in the air like the last whisper of life before the end. The campers, their faces pale with dread, banded together, clutching makeshift weapons, a broken tree branch, a rusting can camping lantern, even a smoldering log from the fire. Through the darkened woods they ran, hearts pounding in sync with the approaching footsteps of the dead. There was no time for hesitation, no time for fear, only survival. They reached the old ranger's cabin in the edge of the camp, the last stronghold against the rising tide of death. They are king themselves that they watched inside they watched as the undead gathered outside cracked windows, their breaking eyes peering into the cabin like lost souls seeking salvation. But the campers knew there would be no salvation tonight. As dawn broke, beaming the forest in a sickly gray light, the undead began to slow. Their movements once frantic, grew sluggish as the if the rising sun sapped the life or whatever remained of it from the running forms. The campers dared to hope that the worst was over, but in the stillness of that fragile moment, a sound echoed for the cabin. A soft knock, three raps on the door. The campers exchanged to <laughs> terrified glances. They had seen the last can living cancer fall. They knew no one else had survived, yet the knocking persisted. They, who's there? One of the campers finally whispered, voice trembling. A pause, and then the voice said, one they recognized, yet the sort of cold. It's Jenny, let me in. And they, in that moment, instant, they understood. The dead had come calling, and there would be no escape from Camp Crimson Wood. The end.